What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Kuz. I bring my first ever commentary. I got a little gameplay on Strike Zone for you using the L11, which is probably my favorite sniper rifle at the moment. I went 30 and 11 for this gameplay. Um, I liked it a lot because I went on uh, a little rampage with the Magnum towards the end. I think it's the coolest pistol in Call of Duty. It may be a little overpowered, but uh, hey. Um, I've been wanting to do a commentary for a while now, but my computer's been messed up, and once I finally got that problem fixed, then I was having a hard time getting my mic um, hooked up so I could actually do this commentary. But jumping right into this commentary, if you can't already read the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about standards today. And there's two reasons why the mindset that people have on this game is wrong. There's no grind war. Unless you want to spend $500. I know I'm not going to, and I doubt most of you are. And the, the guns are way overpowered. I mean, obviously not the sniper rifles, or we wouldn't still be getting hit markers constantly. I, I mean, getting two or three shot it with a red gun, that's just frustrating. And and maybe, I don't, I don't know if people haven't learned the maps yet, after it's been like, I don't, I don't know, like five months or something now? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But maybe that's just the Call of Duty, maybe that's just the players that, that are frustrating. Like, there's always one camping in the corner, and it's probably just because the health is so low and everybody's afraid to die. Which is reason, which is understandable, but it just it pisses me off to no end. Um, I don't understand why why teams want to grind on this game. I I think multi cod is the key for every team. I, variety is huge. I I get sick and tired of watching the same stuff over and over again. Like for example, the cliche spot on raid where people run up to the kitchen or run a zigzag, they get a triple collat or whatever it may be, a quad collat or whatever. I, I mean, it's cool and everything, but the only difference in the clip is, is the name that pops up on the bottom left on the feed. That's the only difference in each clip. And I, for one, am tired of seeing that. Um, variety is, is it's got to be more important than, like, than, than filling up the kill feed. you you, you got to get entertainment out of what you're actually watching. I mean, I, I, I spoke to somebody who said they don't watch YouTube videos for entertainment. They watch them just for the feed. So, I guess all they do is sit there and stare at the bottom left of the screen or in this game, the top right, and why would, again, why would they put the feet of the top right there? <clears throat> I mean, I guess if you're like the GB tryhard or whatever, you don't want that distracting you or getting in your way, but I, I mean, whatever. I, <clears throat> that's not, that's not really a huge deal, but <clears throat> I feel that if that, I mean, if it's going to be like that, then shouldn't, shouldn't it be about the gameplay instead of the, the feed? Uh, that's just my thoughts. And talking about guns and stuff like why okay so i understand the vks and the links are like the standards are like six on or whatever it may be um and the usr what is that like four or five on so if the standards are higher for the guns that are easier to use shouldn't the standards be lowered for the guns that are hard to use <clears throat> for example the um, the ballista and the dsr uh, people people have the same standards for both guns and how, how is that even possible if, if one gun zooms in slower, pulls back slower, reloads slower, how could you possibly expect people to hit the same clips? Um, so stuff like that's got to change. And I recently left the team because of standards. Um, one of the three leaders in this team, actually I think it's still my, it was in my gamer tag on this gameplay. Um, I left this team because he was unhappy with the introducing video that I had, I had put out for his team. And I, I didn't, I mean, I guess I understand where he's coming from. Standards are important. <clears throat> but I, I guess I guess the difference for me is I watch a video for entertainment. If, if, if a video entertains me, then it has the variety I'm looking for. <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't go, I, don't, I don't go for clips. I'm just going to go for gameplays now. So recently, I changed my name to Free or Kuzo FFA because, first of all, free for all sniper, and second of all, I'm going solo. I'm probably probably for a while. I'm done with teams. I'm tired of people breathing down my neck, telling me my clips are bad because I'm not hitting. Like if I hit a fade or if I hit split, if it's a split or whatever. I don't. I, I personally, I don't see the problem with that. As long as you're, as long as you're hitting the shots, as long as you're showing your skill by what's going on in the middle of your screen, well, who who cares what's going on in the kill feed? How does that have anything to do with your skill? I mean, I guess that's a difference of why you call people feeders and snipers. Because I'm done. I am not a feeder, and I sure as hell am not a trick shotter because that's that's just a joke. <laughs> uh, here's a little a rampage of the magnum I'm talking about, but. 
Um, I, I think that free for all brings huge variety to the community. Um, aside like team based and all that stuff, I like I like the fact that I can hit clips in random spots. Obviously, you gotta learn the spawn so you can spawn trap people and get spawn killed and all that stuff. But definitely, free for all has got to bring the most variety. I'm a little biased, of course, since I am a free for all sniper. But um, this commentary is coming to coming to an end here. Um, let me know what you guys think about my first commentary. Um, took me a long time to get this right, so let me know your thoughts and deuces.